Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us the 100% truth of the scriptures, and honors the citations to the elect document. Doing these works in season, out of season, week in, week out, in sincerity and in truth. So in this lesson, I just want to get into, you know, having that victory mindset. Had a beautiful dream last night, man. Where actually a song, it was just a, a dream of a song playing. And yeah, pretty much the song. And I never even heard the song in my life. And I looked it up when I woke up. And the song was very comforting. And pretty much the, in the song, they were saying, like, over and over, I'll be ready. And they were saying, don't you fear within this song. And they were saying, uh, I won't let you out of my sight within this song. So that's a that was a, a a serious faith booster, man. To where it's just a we have to have a, a a victorious mindset. Yeah, man, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, this is the book of Revelation, chapter fifteen. I'll start at verse two. It says, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mangled with fire because when we get the uh when we get the precept <clears throat> oh i believe that's in the book of psalms at this point well it's been past that point that you know, the so-called uh, uh, Christianity, they don't get, at least they don't get my attention no more like they used to. You know, of course, besides this guy, Vocab, you know, I know the apostles be making a response video. Even myself be making a response videos. But I mean, like, in my day, <laughs> in my personal life, you know, the Christians that I come across in my personal life, they don't even just get my time no more. Because... It's 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 a uh, uh, pretty much is manifestation that they don't know what the hell is going on. All right, so this is all uh, the Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-one, verses eight. It says, "Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked." So, the final reward of the wicked is when Yahweh Shemel Shai puts the spirit on these other nations to use those thermonuclear missiles to shoot them over here and bombard this place. Which is, um, let me get let me get that scripture real quick. When the arrows. Uh, second edge of 16. Oh, second edge, yeah, second edge of 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So come on, this is like one on one. How can you have an arrow be shot? To the other end of the world How? That's because it's talking about a thermonuclear missile Which they look like arrows anyway They look exactly like arrows, man <clears throat> When they be shot off to the end of the world To this place um, and Because what the scriptures say with that
uh, Jeremiah 50 and 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout, which this is Babylon. This is Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout, all ye that bend the bow, all those that have thermonuclear capabilities. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. Shoot every single missile you got at her. For she have sinned against the Lord. Yeah, she sinned against the Lord. She blasphemed against uh uh Yahweh Bashma Shai, Bashim Rakak Wadash. Alright, by uplifting um so called white Jebus. Jebus, man, as 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 the true Messiah, even the most high. Portrayed him as a so-called white man, the angels. Portray them as so-called white people. Uh, um, the the chosen people of the Lord, the Israelites, the hardcore slavery that you put uh, 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 put the so-called Negroes in, the genocide of the so-called natives, and then you're gonna go on, and then they well that was before, well you're still doing shit now, trying to uh, put the MLTB in all of the people. This these are the ways that you sin against the Lord. So now Yahweh is going to have all those missiles be shot at this place and destroy this place and burn this place, man. And then when we jump to Revelation, the 18th chapter, that's why. Um, Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall all plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. That's where the smoke is going to come from. That mushroom cloud. See, it all makes sense, man. All right. Standing afar off of the fear of her torment, right? Because this is the Western... Um, side of the world. So they're standing the far off on the eastern side of the world. But they're still going to be able to see that smoke come up. That's how insane the smoke is going to be. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Yep. So then when that happens, what about the elect? What about the uh, 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 the Lord's chosen people? Um, oh, man, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? In the book of Malachi. In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. And this is a clear, cold cut to you trying to change this Bible. You're trying to change what the Lord is about. The Lord is about the Israelites. In the book of Amos, the third chapter, it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. And the Lord just said he doesn't change. So again, <clears throat> Malachi 3 and 6, for I am Yahweh, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So we know that you have Israelites here in, in Babylon the Great that won't be consumed. We're not going to be left here to get put in, a, in that thermonuclear missile fire like everybody else. So what's going to happen? Bringing it back home to the book of Revelation, chapter 15, verse 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mangled with fire. Because this is when, um, in the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians, yeah, man, that song... The song came in my dream last night, man. That song was incredible. I might put it in in the uh, description, man. If I'm lying, I'm dying, man. Like King David, <laughs> King David said something like that. He said, "Uh, if I don't do this, then the Lord deal with me as such and such." Okay, if I'm lying, I'm dying, man. This song literally came into my dream last night. He was just saying over and over, like, I'll be ready, you know? Damn. Oh, praise and glory to you. I'll my Lord willing, man, if we continue. If we continue on. Because 
you got a lot of fallout boys, man. While they were in the truth, they got they got testimonies, and you know, they have a bunch of testimonies that they could have been saying, and a lot of faith boosters that they could have been went going into. <laughs> so uh, sometimes they'll always have the scripture you're thinking of too. Our, our brothers be doing, yo, oh, I'm holding that, I'm holding that. The fallout boys, some fallout boys, they was in that spirit heavy too. But, but where are they now, man? So that's why, even though we get faith boosters, you can't turn it into a, a pride booster, okay? Because the Lord could just take it all away from you anyway, man. That's why this thing is scary. So that's why I never let, like, uh, I never let that type of stuff, man, you know, go, go to our head, go to my head to lock it. Because the Lord could still easily... Uh, uh, make you fall out. Yeah, how about you, my shot for bait? You know, that's just one thing I learned. Anyway, this is a uh, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter four, verse fifteen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So when this great persecution comes upon the men of the Lord, when Esau, the so-called white man, comes down. With great wrath, because he knows that he has for a short time, and he starts to look for the prophets. He's demonizing the prophets. Some prophets are going to be pilgrims upon earth. They're going to be wandering, maybe wandering around the city. Somebody may put them up. You had that in uh, and uh, uh, they taught that us in school. Anne Frank, you had Anne Frank. I think they was looking for them, right? And uh, Anne Frank, and about like six other people, they were living in a goddamn uh, uh, attic. For like I forgot how many years it was. The Lord can have you. The Lord can have some of us be like that, with some family members or 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 whoever the case. Oh yo yo you yo 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 you one of them prophet. Yo come here. I got you. I got you. I got you. And he may hide you in his uh uh hide you up in the attic. Hide you up in the living basement. You know, take care of you. Right. You could be like that, or you could just be uh uh um. Or, or you may be wandering in the wilderness, right? In a little cave or something. You may be living in. Whatever little shelter you have, Bashar Masha will provide for you. You're still going to have some men of the Lord living like that. That's still going to be alive, off grid. Some men of the Lord are going to get caught up, though. Going to get beheaded for this truth. Some men of the Lord may get caught up. But when they go to get beheaded, they may fly away. All right, and then be living in the wilderness or whatever the case may be, man. But some of us are going to be alive and remain when the Lord, what, comes back and returns unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. So we're going to see Yahweh Shai himself. We finally going to see Yahweh Shai. Who we going to see what he looked like. Oh, man. We're going to see the man himself for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive. Hey, so we may see the spirits being lifted up from the grave. From the ground, we're going to see see them get uh, uh, beamed up first. All right. Um, and, and, and just my speculation, and then we're going to get beamed up after them. And the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. See, so some of us are going to get beat. That's the chariots, man. We're going to get beamed up into them chariots. As those thermonuclear missiles come and bombard this place with complete, extremely hot fire, super hot fire. And then that brings me back to Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw, so now when we're beamed up in them chariots, looking down, and I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mangled with fire. So we're going to uh, uh, look down and see. 
uh, complete fire, man. We're going to see the lake of fire. That's what the lake of fire is about. It says, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's speculation. Probably looked to the left, looked to the right, saw all the men of the Lord that got beamed up. You know, low will in their families. Right? Praising Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Brothers probably crying, finally made it, laughing, rejoicing, laughing and crying. You know? And then they had gotten the victory over the beast. Right? Which the beast is what? This uh, uh, The NATO and the EU. Okay? Who wants to try and implement this into the W to the O. And over his image, which is his system, all right, built based off of Ro the Roman Empire. Okay, going into his uh, 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 next industrial revolution, which industrial revolution just means an emergence of new technology. And this this new technology is going to be uh, ultimately where you get plugged in into the Internet. Because I believe that was a uh, I got to look it up. Um, was it the third this this most recent? Industrial Revolution, the third Industrial Revolution, where, the, where uh, the internet came along, but now the fourth Industrial Revolution, you are going to be, you're going to be plugged into the internet, to where you're going to be a walking Wi-Fi code, right, it says, and over his mark, which is what gets you exactly into it, the mark, which is the C hit, it says, and over the number of his name, Right, which ultimately goes into that shy size stigma, which ult pretty much goes back into uh, uh, his mark. It says, stand on the sea of glass, having harps of the most high. See that? So the victory mindset, the whole full act is going to get that victory over this devil. And now, in order to get the victory, we have to believe. That we can win. We got to believe that we can win, man. That's why. You know. When you're playing in the NBA. If you down 20 points. It's the late late third quarter. If you don't believe you can win and come back. You you won't. But if you can believe that you that, that y'all can get it together. Rally the troops. And make this comeback. Then you will. But the first step is to believe. This is a uh, second address 15 and four for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See, so if you don't believe you're automatically done. <laughs> if you don't believe in your how about Shema was shy, you automatically lose. That means there's no way, po there's no way possible that you can win. Going back to that, to that uh, mindset of um, uh, being down, you down 20 points. If you don't believe you can win, then you ain't going to win. And then when the fourth quarter comes, you're just going to put in the bench players and call it quits. Because you don't believe you can win anyway. That's pretty much the mind of these, these people that don't believe. They done. Right? But for us that believe, that's the first step, man. Let me get um. Yeah, man, we hey, we gonna get this victory. This is a uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two. I'll start at verse one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto Him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. Okay, so hey, uh, don't be troubled, because Yahweh Bashem Shai got us, man. Yahweh Bashem Shai controls everything. He controls life and death, poverty and riches, prosperity and adversity. The so I mean, you, you know, you don't control nothing, man. All right, you don't control shit. You just think that you do. And through your, through you being an idiot, and you being prideful. Um, what they call that, um, um, you really don't believe, you really don't believe like in yourself, man, but you just trying to fake jacks. 
Yeah, man, you just trying to fake Jax, man. Like, they had that in, like, in, uh, uh, in Fresh Prince. Where he was like, yo, yo, you don't want nobody to mess with you? just got to act like you crazy. You ain't really crazy, but you acting like you crazy. That's like the, how the, and, and you hoping they believe you so that they leave you alone. That's like the so-called white man. Okay? You want to act like he's this, this powerful dude? You're fucking not. And if you believe him, which he wants to try and make you believe him, then you're in his trick bag. But you don't control shit. It's your how about Shemal that controls everything, man. The most high power. Duh. Okay? So we got to have that, that victory mindset in, in, in order to get the victory. Which means also that we got to put in that work. Because that's the first step. Believing that we can make this comeback, right? And going back to the basketball of analogy. But then you put in the work. Right? Now you start to make them shots. Now you start to play defense, get them steals, get them turnovers, man. So first step is believing, and then the next step, and then that's faith without works. Faith without works is dead, man. <laughs> oh, praise and glory to you, how about Shimei Awashai? That's your faith in your works right there. As long as you keep as long as we keep believing that we can get that victory and we keep putting in that work, you get the victory. It's as simple as that. Oh, praise and glory to you, about Shimei Awashai, man. Oh, um, let me get another scripture. This is the book of uh Let me let me search real quick. Yeah, man. To hell with all you people, bro. This and this and this this is amazing, man. This is an amazing life. <laughs> um uh, um let me see. Yo, this life that we live is amazing. Filtering in and out of the world, but really knowing your true life, your true what we're truly here for. But then you could filter in the world. Oh my, what yo, what an amazing feeling, man! And that's power in that. Hey, remember the elites? So, like, as I'm looking up the scripture, remember the elites? The elites, what they lost their power <laughs> when everybody knew, knew uh, who they were. Where they have their power in secrecy. And we're we're in secrecy, so to speak. So that's power for us too. But the difference is that when we lose our secrecy, we get more power. You lose power, but we're gonna get more power, man. Because why does the scriptures say that uh the righteous are as bold as a lion? Hoo hoo! This is uh James. Chapter 2, verse uh, 14. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Whoo! Yo, that's beautiful. That's dope. That's heavy. That's heavy, man. That's beautiful, man. And that's clean. Here it is. He's hungry as hell. You say, all right, go in peace. You know? Did you? He's like, what the hell? What about the food, bro? You telling him to go in peace didn't mean a damn thing. <laughs> Damn. Verse 17. Even so faith, if it have not works, it's dead. Being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Going back to the basketball analogy. First and foremost, you got to believe. Faith cometh by hearing. You got to believe we can make this come back. We got to believe we could get that victory. Then you put in the work. Hitting them threes, running around them screens, getting them steals, getting them blocks. You know? Getting back on defense. Beating your beating your man on the fast breaks. Then you put in that work. Then you look at the scoreboard 
And next thing you know, you back in it. Next thing you know, you up. This is how we got to feel towards this so-called white man, man. Towards a, a, a Babylon the Great, bro. Straight up, man. That we could get that victory. And they, it's... Man, they know what time it is, man. <laughs> they scared. They scared out here, man. They know what time it is, man. They scared out here. They scared. They know they done fucked up. So you know you done fucked up, right? They know they done messed up, man. They know they done messed up. They know they fucked up. But what do they say? Oh, it wasn't me. It was my forefathers. I wasn't here. I, I didn't do nothing. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But, um, it actually was you. Reincarnation. That actually was you the ones that uh, uh put us in slavery, man. And let's say you didn't. Guess what? In the book of Obadiah, let me get it. I'll get ready to wrap up. In the book of Obadiah, the Lord says, how many, how many is the Lord, how many of you Edomites is the Lord going to have mercy on? How many, how many of you Edomites do the Lord think is cool? To where he's going to uh, let y'all rock. Let's see. This is Obadiah verse 18. And I advise you to look it up in the uh, New Living Translation. Or maybe the New International Version. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord power hath spoken it. So there's not going to be, the Lord is going to destroy every last one of you Edomites anyway. Say even if you did help, right, with the underground railroad in your past life, you better hope that you were Jake. Because the Lord don't care what you Edomites got to say. He's going to destroy every single last fucking one of them. Every last one of them. There's not going to be any remaining of the house of Esau, man. So even if they do try and cry, oh, it wasn't me, it was, it was my forefather. But what did the Bible just say? Just like they're, they're, they're going to be crying, just like they're forefather Esau himself was crying but he was rejected and found no place of repentance and that's how they all gonna be crying you know and we ain't gonna feel sorry for you fucking Edomites man the hell especially when the Lord allows us to see our past lives allows us to see what, what they were doing unto us man we're going to get that victory. Okay. And this is why we got to stay in the scriptures. Staying in the scriptures is staying in reality. That's what I might entitle this matter of fact. Staying in the scriptures is staying in reality. When we know our history, all the wars. All the wars that Am Amalek had with Israel. Fuck out of here, man. All the wars that, that Esau had. Trying to attack us after we came out of the uh, out of out of the uh, uh, out of the wilderness. All the wars we had with these other heathens, we're still in that. Uh, 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 we're still in that spirit, man. Don't get lost in this uh, Babylonian sauce, man. So, man, I love to continue, but uh, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna say all praises and glory to you. How about you, my shy, Bashim, Makak, Wadash. The honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well. Told us 100% truth. Honor citations to you, elect Docum, doing these works, man. With that.